G'day guys, just away for a weekend in the Hunter Valley, uh, do a bit of fallow deer scouting, uh, they've had about 15 inches of rain this year so there might be a few pigs kicking about, I already see so far there's heaps of feed, there's a lot of weed as well, it's all, um, I mean it's up at this height so it's all sort of a metre high, I don't know what sort of luck we'll have finding pigs in that but maybe in some of the steeper country we can get an angle on them and we'll see how we go. Oh mate, while he's got a hole above his bed, I think he's going to try and fall through the roof in the shearing shed. So here's one for everyone to remember that's out frenzy buying toilet paper. Don't stick your head under someone's ass when they're doing a poop because you'll end up like this bloke. And I'll tell you what, you won't have enough toilet paper if you do that. It won't matter how many rolls you buy. Copy Rob, you've got three fallow coming up towards you, mate. What's that? If you keep coming along that ridge, there's three fallow about 200 metres in front of you that have just come up. So that's the first pig for the trip down. Mate just got one up there in that timber. It's really hard to see anything though. There's so much grass up here, it's really long. So we pushed out three fallow deer in that last valley as well. So off to a good start anyway. Just doing some digital scouting of a couple of dams. We've just had it had the little drone about 800 metres over there on that hillside and we had two fallow come up in it. So. I don't know how they'll clear that'll come up, but I got the drone over there in time, I think, so. It's been a pretty quiet afternoon with all this grass everywhere. It's pretty hard to see through it. And riding around in it's quite hazardous because you can't see all these, there's all these girly rocks that come out of the, the cuttings when they put the roads in this steep country. And you can't see those rocks when you're riding around in all this grass on the track. So you've got to be pretty careful doing that. It's a bit hazy, so we're, um, we're only putting around nice and slow, but boys are shooting at something up here. I don't know what it is, but Another fox down, that's number three for the night. We're only talking to the manager today about how few foxes we see up here now since they've been heavily baiting for wild dogs, so good to get a few on the deck anyway. So a bit of a deer hunt this morning. I'm gonna head down into this large valley down underneath me and put two trail cameras in. Have a bit of a hunt while I'm out here. There's heaps of kangaroos, so they're going to give me a bit of trouble this morning. It's nice and overcast, so cool weather. It's good hunting conditions anyway. Got down in this gully, but I don't know if you can hear them over the mic, but the flies are really bad down in here, so I can't really hear too much, which is bloody annoying. I just bumped them over roos up behind me, so to slow it down a little bit, let them settle, and then keep walking in over this next ridge up here. 
It's just starting to sprinkle now, ever so slightly. Probably not enough to put a raincoat on, but enough to be slightly annoying. Pretty cool. There's three fellow probably only 25 yards down there. Just standing here real still. I'm a bit in the open, they caught me out a bit, but yeah. Good little experience anyway. So I've got my trail camera in here. Got a dam down there. There's pads running along both sides of this edge here. They've got a nice deep saddle, a good pad there, and there's a heap of pads that run down each side of that part of the ridge, so should be a good little spot, I think. I'll know in six weeks anyway. It's nice up in here. Just bumped another mob of deer off underneath me down here, so I'll hang five here and then push up. He'll be gone, I'd say. about back to the quad bike now it's been a pretty quiet morning I've seen about 15 deer but that's not huge numbers for up in here and I haven't seen a single buck so my guess is that they haven't moved into the area yet we saw two bucks yesterday that I chased with the drone um, so this the boys are still together so I think probably tracking as usual for the rut I think there's a little bit of uncertainty with all the rain and things like that changing but it's pretty normal for the the bucks to still be together around early march up here from what i've experienced over the last i don't know 10 years so yeah anyway we'll get back to the bike have a ride around again now we'll be lazy get out of these wet boots Sloshing around in this grass all day is not so much fun. Have a go at all this Kaikuyu grass up here. Came up last time, terrible drought, and they've had nearly 12 months worth of rain in two months. And there's just feed everywhere. A lot of weed, but this part of the property's got heaps of feed on it. A bit windy up here, but it's not too bad. It's pretty quiet though. Rode around for about an hour to get up here. We haven't seen a whole lot. Even the roos are quiet. Just so much feed, everything can be wherever it wants to be at the moment. All I can see is these little heads popping up in the weeds. <laughs> trying to find the road. Now we're on it, we went past it. <laughs> there, let's stand. Mate's up in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's bloody thick. That it. 
bloody jarbing thumb is completely barely the bike out on this bloody log. So it's sitting right along it now, so I don't know how I'm going to get it off. It'll be a bit of fun. Just glassing these ridge lines, and I've looked all the way over there. Three little fellow. Yeah, eight or nine hundred yards away. Just got a little spiky fellow buck over in there. Just a meat animal, so I'll see how I go getting over in there. It's pretty tight down in here. So. Not quite sure what's going on here. He's left his machine. He's looking for something. That was a good shot, Morton. Got him right up there. Centre frame, right across the valley, so good stuff. Well done. Oh, what's he done there? Nothing. Nice way to finish the day off anyway. Too bad I, it doesn't look too bad, but I put pretty good cut on that finger there. That one there got a nick. Just doing the last hock. So that's disappointing. Anyway, it will heal. No stitches required, I don't believe. I don't know how the sound of this will come through while I'm riding the bike, but we've had a good afternoon. The weather's been really good shooting weather. It's been cool, overcast, nearly raining, but not quite. So you'd expect the animals to be out and about, but it's been really quiet. So we're just guessing that it's because of all the feed everywhere. There's, as you can see, all around me, everything's green. So it's great to see. We did get a couple of fallow. Uh, I've got one on the bike now, just bringing it back. Uh, we'll give probably that one to the manager and see what we do with the other ones we got before. But yeah, good afternoon. It's good fun riding around up here. We've done 86 kilometres so far. So no shortage of saddle time on the quad bikes, but that's what we're up here to do. Just really light on the pigs. Um, yeah, I'd expect to see more pigs than we've seen one. Um, and Rob was just fortunate enough to get a shot at it, but... We haven't seen any others. We've seen a little bit of sign, but mainly um, mainly deer we've seen. We've probably seen 35 or 40 fallow, so they're certainly not light on at the moment, but only two bucks. All the other ones have been um, does and fawns. So I'm just out for a bit of a spotlight solo tonight. The boys are going to have a rest. We had a pretty big day. So I've rigged up my thermal on an O-light on this pistol grip with a magnet on the bottom. And I've got it Wi-Fi'd through to the old phone screen. So it's working all right, mainly using the spotlight, but it's um, it's pretty good going dark just with the thermal before you shoot. It's um, certainly working on the foxes. It's not alarming them because you're not waving a light at them until that last moment when you flick the, the gun light on them on a shoot or if, um, Everything works out, they're within range of the 17 HMR and I can shoot them with the night vision scope on that, so good fun. It's the second morning, we're just going to ride up into this big valley here. We tried to come into this from the top on the left hand side yesterday and couldn't get through. There was a big tree right across the head of the track, so 
a bit of a bugger. The cough's been playing up this morning. I don't know if you can tell, but I've um I've got a bacterial chest infection. I'm on antibiotics, so it's been a bit of a rough few days, but we're getting there. Just up in this bit of a shower at the moment, just climbed up into this valley system. It's, um, it's a bit of a bugger, it means that now instead of giving the guns a wipe over when I get home, I'm going to have to give them a really thorough clean, pull them all apart, and plus all these cameras and stuff are now getting wet, so anyway, that's how it rolls. This is one of the benefits, well for me anyway, of these mountain roads. So along this hillside we've decided to split up. There's a high and a low road. And my mates are down on the low road. And the poor buggers have got a tree on the track, so they're down there with the handsaws out trying to clear it out. So I might have to um might have to yell out some encouragement because it's a fair way for me to ride right around to get back to them. Righto guys, that'll be a wrap on this trip, so we've had fun anyway, really quiet on the pigs, only one. Uh, we did get a few fallow and a uh, reasonable number of foxes for up here, which is a good outcome. Um, so yeah, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button, it does help with the content. Um, give me a subscribe if you want to see more of this sort of stuff. And for whatever reason, if you watch the video and you're anti-hunting and you feel that you need to hit the, the dislike button, hit it twice, it works better if you hit it twice. So uh, yeah, see you next time guys.